motion. I see he got the motion and said he be listening for us for morning and we are oppressing, depressing black men. By telling black men that he must rise up that depression. Read the scripture for me, brother. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Come on. Cry aloud. God said forth to the prophet, he said, cry aloud. Come on. Spear not. Why do you think God said that? Spear not. Why do you think God said that? Because black men like this, brother, who's so emotional, he will get emotion in his feelings. Sister, who's very emotional, she will get emotional. And God said, it's part of the emotion. Don't spear that. Just cry alone as I commanded you. Come on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You must raise the voice up. Come on. And show my people, do what? And show my people. To show God's people, you must point out the iniquity that they're in. That's what got to show my people, come on. Their transgression. Their transgression, which means sin. The way you have sin is what, brothers and sisters? It's common in your brain. You don't want to open no more to repeat it in your spirit. The way you have sin is death. And if I love you, I will not watch you die. I would not want to watch you die. That's why God said in liberty because that we must not hate each other in our heart. But we must talk each other. Show my people, come on. And show my people their transgression. Show my people their transgression. Come on. And the house of Jacob their sin. And the what? And the house of Jacob their sin. And the house of Jacob their sin. Who always these things are depressing the black man? Give me a little because don't shine that brother in nine heart. How is that depressing black man? How is that? You rule this earth under King David and King Solomon. You have the richest kingdom on this earth. Now you're turning back and you have a load of taxes if you make money. This is how far we are falling. Look at the garbage. Now this is where we sleep and eat. Look how far we are falling, oh kings. Because that's in your kings. How far have you fallen? From royalty to become what? Peasants on the face of the earth. This is how far we are falling. The nation that once served us, we turn around serving them. And the brothers said, we are depressing the black man by telling them these things. Brother, get your spirit right. Come on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Most I said, brothers, don't hate your brother in your heart. Sister, don't hate your sister in your heart. Come on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. God is saying, in any wise, in any case possible, correct your neighbor. That's what love is. Come on. And not suffer sin upon him. Don't allow him to dwell in sin. Because sin, the payment for it will be death. And if you love him, you don't want to see him die. You're going to say, my brother, you're breaking the laws of God. You're going to die. Repent, bro. Repent. Before the wrath of God come upon you. Come on. Thou shalt, thou, thou shalt not avenge or bear any grudge against the children of thy people. God said we mustn't do these things. Don't be any regret against the people, Virgin. But thou shalt what? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. What does that say must do? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The fact that we ain't doing these things show that we don't love our neighbor. We don't love our neighbor as we have loved ourselves. Thus as God said, iniquity are born among us. Therefore, the love for each other have grown cold. The first thing come to your mind to stab a brother or to shoot a brother. That's the first thing come to your mind. First thing come to your mind. That is, that is where we are today. Right? We must come out from these things. If you want change, we must repent. Come back to the laws of God. We're not bringing aid to you. We're not bringing aid to you. We see your brother and sister eating out of garbage, sleeping on roadside, pissing your sleep in there. And God said, go and rise them up because these are the valley of Jibon I taught you about. This is what Ezekiel talked about. They were very dry. He said, how oh, can these bones live? He said, prophesy to these bones. In order for you to leave, you got to get the prophecy. You got to know who you are. You got to know why you were falling. Now you know what happened. Now you know how to come up. If you don't know the way down, you're not going to know the way up. That's right. That's simple, brothers. Why black men fall? Sister, do you know why we fall to the ground, sister? Do you know why? Does any church tell you why the black men and black women fall in? 
Does society tell you why we were falling? No, have it. They never told you why. But we are here to tell you why we were falling, according to God's word. They have the book, but they ain't teaching you the book. We're gonna teach you the book. It's gonna come out offensive for times. But don't get emotional. It is the devil that's within you that gets offense. Because the word of God cuts the demon in you. It is for your good. Ain't no medicine this earth tastes good. You ever taste coughing syrup? It tastes good? No, but it's stopping from cough though. So no medicine is good. This is the word of God. It doesn't taste good, but it's good for you. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.